Let's just uh, check in on Bolivia. The uh, Now, to be fair, the same Supreme Court that said that um, Evo Morales was, uh, it was legal for him to run again, um, has supposedly signed off on the interim presidency of Janine Añez Chavez. She is a lawmaker. Now, she was next in line in succession after the military coup got everybody else in line of succession to resign with the, I don't know what kind of threat it is that you get from the military, but, you know, the military is known for one thing usually, and that is... Constitutional uh, law. Constitutional law or um, controlled violence and uh, or not controlled violence, targeted violence. And so a lot of those people uh, resigned and it left uh, Janine Añez Chavez, supposedly the next in line in succession. Supposedly the Supreme Court has signed off on it. Um, remember, the argument here is not whether Evo Morales was a good guy or a bad guy. I think, um, I mean, I tend to think that as far as uh, Bolivian presidents go, probably pretty good. But uh, your mileage may vary. But there is a thing called democracy. And there is a thing called rule of law. And there are things called military coups. And regardless of what you think of the players involved and whether you think it's justified, if you think a military coup was justified, then you should say the military coup was justified. But to say that it is a democratic response seems um, just simply inaccurate in terms of the facts. We know that Evo Morales, even if you, he didn't run for president, was the perfectly legitimate president of Bolivia until December when his term was to end. But he was driven out of the country by a military takeover of the government. They installed a lawmaker who was in succession only because the military deposed everybody who was ahead of her in the line of succession. Is that democracy? Is she a democratic fi a figure? The one who texted, who tweeted out, and to be fair, it was five or six years ago, people change. <laughs> Quote, I dream of a Bolivia free of indigenous satanic rights. The city is not for, quote, Indians. They better go to the Highlands or El Chaco. That is the new president of Bolivia. And just to put a finer point on of it, here she is uh, marching through the streets into the um, uh, presidency, carrying a Bible, saying uh, the Bible returns to the palace. Let's play this. La presidenta está llegando al antiguo palacio presidencial con una una Biblia al parecer. Yeah, there's the Bible. Es en la que se va. The biggest Bible I've ever seen. En el recinto antiguo. Dice que. Ha permitido que la Biblia vuelva a entrar al palacio. Que lo bendiga. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. The Bible returns to the palace. There you go. Um, democracy. One of the stalwarts of democracy that um, you want to get rid of all the indigenous people and send them to uh, specific parts of the country, far flung parts of the country, so that the Bible can retain its yeah, proper that, place at the democracy. That famous uh, French Revolution phrase the Bible returns to the palace. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But keep on saying it's complicated, liberals. Nuance, folks. Well, it's not just liberals, uh, to be fair. They should know better. One would expect.